Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Philip right here, and in this episode, we are going to talk about antimicrobial resistance, its causes, mechanisms of action, and how to control or prevent its spread. Ever heard of antimicrobial resistance? I know most of you might have come across it, but have little knowledge about what it actually entails. Now, according to a paper published by Kushito and Batma in 2019, most sub-Saharan African countries are going through a double burden of non-communicable and infectious diseases. While several strides have been made in the treatment of infectious diseases, the emergence of antimicrobial resistance, when not checked or managed, is going to affect the gains made. What is antimicrobial resistance? Antimicrobial resistance occurs when microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, protozoa and fungi develop resistance against drugs that are made to kill or inhibit their growth. Did you know poor hygiene and sanitation is one of the major causes of antimicrobial resistance? This involves improper disposal of waste, improper washing of hands before eating, and an improper handling of food. Other great causes of antimicrobial resistance include drug abuse, drug misuse, and self-medication. Drug abuse simply means taking a drug without prescription in order to elicit a response other than the actual therapeutic purpose of the drug. Drug misuse simply means taking drugs without medical guidelines. Typical examples include not taking the right dose, taking a dose at the wrong time, and not completing the entire medication or dosage. Self-medication is about personally selecting a drug to treat self-diagnosed conditions or symptoms. Typical example is taking a drug from a friend or relative who is also suffering from similar or same condition. Now let's look at some of the mechanisms that these microorganisms use to protect themselves from the antimicrobial drug. The first one is preventing the entry of the antimicrobial drug into the cell. Another mechanism is to pump the antimicrobial drug out of the cell. And then the third one is to deactivate the antimicrobial drug within the cell. Some measures to put in place to control antimicrobial resistance include effective hygiene and sanitation, taking antimicrobial drugs only when needed, and these drugs must be taken just as prescribed by the medical professional. Also, awareness must be raised on the causes and effects of antimicrobial resistance through effective communication, education, and training. Most importantly, there must be laws put in place to put restrictions on unnecessary purchase of antimicrobial drugs. When antimicrobial resistance is not controlled and continues to grow or spread, the economy would be affected negatively since the government would have to pump in more money into the system for new antimicrobial drugs to be developed to replace the old ones. I hope this video has been helpful. Kindly like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you another time. Bye.